Welcome, ASUN fans, to another edition of the Lunchbox, where we take our lunch hour and talk with your favorite ASUN athletes. Today on the Lunchbox, we have ASUN Runner of the Week from Central Arkansas, Madeline Hill. Welcome to the Lunchbox. Hi, thank you for having me. So congratulations on winning Runner of the Week award for this past week. Um, what does that honor mean to you? Um, for me, uh, it just symbolized a really great start to the season. Um, I know my coach is really excited to see how our team does as a whole that day. We had, I think, almost half of our squad for the girls in the top 10 that, that day. So, um, yeah, that was just a really good start to the season for us. It most definitely was. Um, and kind of want to get into how you first got into cross country. You know, what drew you to the sport? Um, I started off really young. I think I was about 11 years old. Um, it was really just a way for me to meet some people. Um, and it, it worked out really well. Um, I met a lot of my closest friends through running the running community really it's special. I mean, I've done a few other sports and nothing compares to, um, how close you get when you're suffering every morning <laughs> with the same group of people. So, um, yeah, that's really what drew me to it. It's just the close connections with the running community I had um, when I started doing it. And that, that's what kept me going, just having um, that support there. That's awesome. And that's amazing that you're able to find people like yourself and and find friends that way. Um, it's kind of a good segment. You talk about how grueling running can be uh, for a moment <laughs> there. What is like your mindset going into a race? Like, How do you prepare like both mentally and physically for a race? Ooh, so I, as the older I've gotten, the more I've kind of tried to have fun with racing. Um, I used to get really nervous when I was younger, middle school and high school, but I got to college and I was like, you know what, like, we just need to find a way to have fun with it. Um, so uh, my teammates honestly helped me prepare a lot. We, um, usually on the way to meets, um, if we're driving, we'll, we'll have like a playlist going and we'll just kind of have a little jam session before races. For me, I just need to get as fired up as I can. Um, and just get excited for it and spend time with the people that are going to be getting me excited to run. So awesome. Is there a song specifically you're like, gotta listen to this before a race to get me pumped? <laughs> uh, uh, our last race we listened to, I can't remember what song it was. There was a song from Rocky that we listened to every year before we drive to our home meet. Um, yeah, it's like the Rocky theme song. That's the main thing we listened to on the way to our first home meet. So. That's awesome. I know exactly what you're talking about. The Rocky theme song. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Can you kind of walk us through a little bit your like training regimen leading up to a big race? Um, the Atlantic Sun Conference Championship obviously is coming in a little bit over a month now. So we have a lot of time. But like, how do you kind of train leading up to uh, race day? Yeah. Um, so obviously, uh, it depends on like how big the race is. But conference championships, obviously, we're going to taper a little bit more. Um, we've kind of found that having, I think it's like two days before the race, we just take it completely off just to, um, I feel like that just helps us recover a little bit more, but yeah, obviously before a race, we'll usually have like a workout Tuesday and then the rest of the week will be pretty easy, um, because there is usually on the weekend, like a Friday or Saturday, but yeah, we usually go pretty easy before the race, um, do a lot of recovery, sleep, eating well. Um, but yeah, that's our main preparation. Awesome. I'm, I'm kind of curious about this question um, just because I'm just not super familiar with cross country world outside of, you know, when I watch your guys' races. Um, but like, how do you stay like consistently running in between weeks of races? Because sometimes it can be a long stretch. Like sometimes you'll have chance, like big cha or big races, like two weeks um, or three weeks, even like are you running long distances in that time just to like keep up your pace or like, how does that kind of work out in, in a week leading up to it? Yeah. So, um, so we have like a training, um, period that we're doing right now. Usually if there's like a very long period between races, we'll, um, we'll get in some faster workouts. Uh, but usually when we get super close to races, we'll do um, less taxing workouts, usually something um, shorter, um, not as fast reps. But right now we are in a training block 
where we don't have a race for a while. So um, right now we're doing a lot of faster, longer stuff, like, you know, um, mile repeats, at, like a faster tempo pace or 300s at um, probably like 3K pace, a little faster. So yeah, right now we're doing a lot of faster work, a lot of higher mileage. But as we get closer to the end of the season, mileage will come down a little bit. Right now I'm at like 50 to 60 miles a week. So it's pretty high right now, but I'll probably start to cut down closer to 40 once we get closer to conference. That's, that's honestly amazing. I can't, can't even imagine running <laughs> 60 miles a week right now, but wow, that's awesome. Um, this next question uh, might be a little bit of a thinker here. So take your time on it. Um, do you have like a most memorable race that you've raced so far? It could be in high school, could be in college now. Um, could just be outside of of both completely. Is there like a race that really sticks out in your mind as as your favorite? I thought of one right away. So my favorite one was actually this past uh, track season, outdoor conference. I ran the 10K, um, and that was I think I, I got third in that race. So that was my first time getting podium, which was great. But um, it was also crazy because our, our team was going for the win. We ended up getting second. But um, I just remember for that race, like it was super late at night. And no one had to. I told everyone it's OK, like you can go home and, and sleep and get ready for your race tomorrow. But um, they all stayed out to watch me run my 10K. Um, we had like, you know, huge group of kids, like 100 kids coming to like watch me run my 10K, even though it was like 25 laps long. And they probably didn't know when it was going to end. But yeah, that was just really special seeing all my teammates out there uh, spread around the track cheering for me. It's amazing. Wow. I'm, uh, that's great. That's so awesome to uh, give teammates like that. Um, that also segues really great into my next question. Like, how do you guys support each other even outside of the sport? Are you guys a lot of friends within uh, the cross country team? Um, obviously, showing up to races seems like a, also a pretty important part as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, outside of the sport. Yeah. We, we spend a lot of time together that gets us really close. Um, a lot of us live, we have this apartment, um, complex that's right outside of, uh, the school where a lot of us live. So we honestly are in and out of each other's apartments all the time. Uh, we'll study together. Um, we'll hang out together pretty much every weekend. Now we hung out together just to get closer and, um, and yeah, we'll, we'll talk about school. We'll help each other with school. We'll help each other, um, you know, whenever we come across like stressful times and in, in running and our workouts, we'll help each other out there. Um, but yeah, it just helps being able to be around each other all the time. You know, we, we see each other at our best and at our, at our worst. <laughs> and, and we really, because of that, we know, um, you know, when we need help, we know how to, uh, you know, look at someone and tell if they had a bad day and help them out if they do. It's awesome. Wow. That sounds like a great support system there over at UCA. Um, what kind of wrapping up a little bit about more of the, the running stuff, what is like your personal goal for this season? Is there a uh, time that you want to achieve or a, a place that you want to achieve? Yes. So this season, um, I kind of went for this last season, but I didn't quite make it. I'd love to make it to nationals um, for cross the season. So I have to score pretty high at regionals to do that, but I mean, nothing's impossible. So we're going to go for it. Um, but yeah, I'd love to do that. It seems like it would be a great experience. It's awesome. That's a great uh, personal goal to set for yourself there. Um, this is the lunchbox. So we have to ask one food related question. Um, <laughs> okay. What is your favorite meal to eat the night before a race? Ooh, Okay. Uh, pretty basic, but any, really any type of pasta, um, you think probably like a lasagna. That's my favorite type of pasta, lasagna pre-race. That's awesome. I love a good lasagna. Um, yep. this next section of the lunchbox is what we call red flag, green flag. I'm going to give you three prompts and you're going to have to tell me if it's a red flag, obviously meaning something that you wouldn't do or a green flag, meaning something that you would do. Um, and I'm going to give okay. you three prompts and you're going to have, you're going to tell me if it's a red flag or a green flag. Are you, are you ready? Yes. Carbo loading before a race. Ooh, green flag. Why is that? 
<laughs> uh, we, my team loves to carve low before races. We, our favorite thing is to get um, a big uh, delivery of Olive Garden to our hotel. And we just, you do damage <laughs> on the Olive Garden. So there we go. That's awesome. I love some good Italian food uh, the night before a, a big broadcasting or a big meeting. So I'm totally with you there. Totally different reasons to do it, but I'm with you. Um, low socks over high socks. Oh, man. Socks. Uh, green flag for the low socks. I, I don't wear super high socks. I don't know. I feel like they would just fall down or something. <laughs> Yep. Yep. That plays well. Um, runner shoes in a social setting. Mm. Depends on the setting. Um, green flag. If I'm just walking around campus or hanging out on the weekend, um, but maybe not class. I, I dress somewhat nice to class sometimes and I'll wear like some, some white sneakers or sandals or something. There you go. Some flat tops. I figured you might, it's yeah. definitely a tough call. Cause if you're walking around campus, you're kind of like, I kind of want to be comfortable, you know? Yeah. So there you go. Um, well, that'll do it for our interview here on the lunchbox. Madeline, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for having me.